everybody. Today's vlog is going to be Tuesday and Wednesday. No, no, no. I, I did figure this out. Today's vlog is going to be Monday and Tuesday and it is posted on Wednesday. So happy Wednesday. I am just getting up. I'm ready to make my breakfast. I wanted to have some oatmeal today and I need to feed Leo. So let's do that right now. Are you hungry? Yeah, you're hungry. <laughs> I have to confess, you guys, my grow lights fell. The ones that were held up with command strips, I only have one that is still intact. And I think that I'm going to have to like drill into the top of these cabinets if I want to keep these here, which I really do. But these are just not holding up anymore. Today, look at the weather outside. It has been a particularly dark winter so far. I'm not sure why it's so rainy. I hope that you are having a beautiful morning so far. Look at your little outfit, Leo. You look so cute. <laughs> Leo has been wearing this for a little bit. He pretty much can handle wearing clothes. Just after a while, he gets a little bit annoyed. But I think that this is literally the cutest. <laughs> it's like a footy pajama set for a dog. <laughs> and his fluffy butt just hangs out the bottom. It's so cute. Oh my goodness, look at his fluffy butt. This is what he's doing to try to get it off. But I kind of want him to wear it so he's used to it because when we go to Iowa for Christmas, it's gonna be really, really cold and he's probably gonna wear a jacket. So I just want him to be used to wearing something. Um, you know, like I said, typically he does well with wearing things, but because this one has like bottom legs, I think he's a little bit freaked out. I need to set up a grooming appointment for him actually before we leave, that reminds me, um, because he is just like super fluffy right now, which is obviously adorable, but his eyes are getting kind of covered, so I want his face to be trimmed and then his nails to be climmed. <laughs> I just said that so confidently. Bales to be climmed, his nails to be trimmed, face to be trimmed, and then there was one other thing that I wanted them to do. Oh, probably just like a really good shampoo. We took him to Petco or PetSmart last time, and it just took like five hours for them to groom him, and that was his first grooming experience ever. So I hope that he's not scarred for life because like when we got home, I was so incredibly scared from him. for him. I actually took him to the emergency vet the next day because that night, like when we got him back, we dropped him off at three o'clock and we got him back around eight. So when we actually got home, he slept, he did not wake up. He actually, he actually peed himself twice. Like he peed in his bed and he was like crying because that, that was when he slept in a kennel. So he was crying and we were wondering why. There was pee everywhere. And then we um, like cleaned him up, gave him a bath, let him go outside. And we brought him into our bed to sleep with us because we were like, well, he's either really cold or he's scared or whatever. And then he peed in our bed. So like twice he peed the bed. And so I was looking up on the internet. <laughs> Don't do that. Um, why a dog would pee the bed. And a lot of it was like, bladder infection, UTI, blah, 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 like all these things. And I was like, oh no, what was happening to my dog? So I took him to the emergency vet and um, there was nothing wrong with him. She just said to monitor him and he hasn't done it since. So I genuinely think that he was just like so tired and exhausted that he did not wake up to himself urinating. <laughs> and he is still a puppy technically. So maybe that contributed to that as well. But anyway, he hopefully will be able to handle the groomer when we take him this next time. I'm just not sure, huh? How are you gonna do? Are you gonna be good? Well, of course he'll be good, but 
I just don't want him to be traumatized again because that was not good for him. Behind me here is our advent calendar, which I have not shown at all. Actually, Daniel didn't even notice that that was there until this morning. And I was like, oh yeah, I forgot to do the advent calendar. And he's like, wait, what? <laughs> so this whole time, I have had two miniature, if you can see, let me turn the light on. I've had two miniature Reese's cups in here that I got from Sprouts at like the bulk section. One for each of us. And he has not noticed, so I have gone nine days, no, no, eight days eating them all. <laughs> that was a lot of mini Reese's cups, but he wasn't noticing. And I wanted to see how long it would take him. So it took him nine days. So he ate his n day nine, and then he ate one for every other day as well, which was silly, but anyway. Tomorrow, maybe he will remember. I grabbed way too many of these, so this is my bulk bag situation. Look at that. That is so many little mini Reese's. They're delicious too. Did I show you guys? I moved this shelf because this shelf used to be where the Christmas tree is. But I really like having it in the kitchen. Let me show you what's on it. Shelf tour. <laughs> this is our wedding guest book. And it's just filled with a bunch of Polaroid pictures. I haven't like fixed that up in any way since we got back from the wedding. This is all of our tea. I have a lot of loose leaf tea. This is all loose leaf tea. We saw this in one of my early vlogs. And this is my little strainer. And I actually got all of the loose leaf tea as a gift from my friend who lives in Australia. And she was just shocked that I didn't drink loose leaf tea because I love tea so much. So I have like bag tea, but I think that loose leaf tea is probably just so much more sustainable anyway. Here are three of my favorite mugs. Here's the first one. It's kind of small, but I really like that there's that star there. This is made by my friend Joanna. I've mentioned her so many times. Um, and then this one is from Anthropology, and I love that the inside is polka dots. I just think that's the cutest thing. This kettle is a camping kettle, and I actually did take it camping with me, and I was- the whole thing looked like this black color, and I was able to scrub it off the bottom. And I think having it on the top kind of just makes it look used, I guess. <laughs> Worn in, at least. I got a bunch of enamel, um, what is this? Like, tea and like cups and plates from my grandma for our wedding, which was such a dream because I have been seeing stuff like this at a store near her house basically my whole life and just gawking over them and she took note of that my whole life and got them as a wedding present so that was really really special these are all of my cookbooks so i have a couple of vintage better home and garden cookbooks and these have been in my family for a really long time this one was published in 1946 one of these was published in 1952 Another one was published in 1976, and this one was published in 1990-something. This is a garden book, which actually has some pretty fun information in it. As you can probably imagine, it's not all houseplants, it's like 80% gardening. This cookbook is Joanna Gaines' cookbook, and I got this for Christmas last year, I think. And it is my most used cookbook. I think that it's so beautiful. I love all of the art in it and, well not art, but just like the photos and I have used it quite a bit. As you can see, it has some wear and tear, which I was actually very proud of. Like, I don't want my cookbooks to look perfect because look at this one. Someone used this cookbook. <laughs> it got a lot of love. I have a matcha cookbook from Daniel and then this, this is a cookbook entirely dedicated to nachos, which is so much fun. And then I have another vintage cookbook. This one's Betty Crocker. And then one of my roommates actually left this cookbook at our house when we all moved out. And I thought it was great. Like, let me show you. It gives you the picture of the recipe and then the recipe. And these are all like really, really simple. And I've made a few of these, like poached salmon. That looks delicious. I don't know. I've made a few of these and they're all really good, so if you're interested. <laughs> and then I have my Jade Pothos, which actually is receiving so much light in this spot. It wasn't receiving that much before, but now it is because this window kind of pours in directly into this spot, which is, it worked out really nicely. These are stem vases, and I see these at thrift stores all the time. Like when I first found them, I thought that I was like finding something really cool, but apparently they're very common. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I have a few of those. And then down here I have more of those. And then I have a philodendron Brazil and books that are blue and green here. So if you wanna look at my books, these are some really good ones. I love all of these books. And then the enamel plates. And then here are just some more books of red, black, and white binding. And oh, there's some yellow in there. So these are some of my favorite books. I love them. I don't have the entire Harry Potter series. I have the first two books and then the rest of them I read on a Kindle because I was traveling. But anyway, Leo really wants me to take this thing off of him. <laughs> Leo, it's so <laughs> You are so dramatic. That is the shelf tour. I really like this setup more than what I had before. Just a little bit more dynamic. Oh, he's here. Hi. Hi. Did you? Oh. Leo! 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 That's my shoe! That's my shoe! All right, you guys. I fully fell into the YouTube trap. I finished working about 10 minutes ago and I logged onto YouTube and I started queuing up all these videos for me to watch and then I realized, no, today is gonna be different. <laughs> You're not just gonna spend your whole day watching YouTube. So I just shut the laptop. There it is, it's shut. And I'm going to take these lights outside, these ones, and I'm gonna figure out a way to hang them up outside because I want some Christmas cheer on my patio and I'm remembering to do this before it gets dark so it's not weird things get weird after dark and um, I'll show you the process hopefully this works out okay I temporarily interrupt the lights because Daniel ordered pizza oh my goodness and I've already tore into this, because that was amazing. This was definitely a surprise. I did not know he was ordering pizza, but I'm very thankful. That's cold outside. Come on out. <clears throat> wow. That. Do you like it? Oh wait, I'm not even getting the lights. There they are. It's like plant Christmas. It, it is like plant Christmas. <laughs> oh, he's pooing. He's not making eye contact like he normally does. Well, he doesn't see us. He dropped his poo on the concrete. You gotta go get it. Excuse me? Yeah. Why do I have to go get it? Why do I have to go get it? Because you're the boy! No. <laughs> so these are our lights. Oh. It was pretty simple because it's just a beam up there, huh? It was all me. You did nothing. But you, no, no, you did order dinner, so that counts. Priorities, you know. Okay, go pick up the poop. You go pick up the poop. No, please. I'll get you a bag. <laughs> no. That's Danny going to pick up the poo. <laughs> All right, Leo, you've been very patient. Here's your toy back. Yes, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Good morning, or a really good afternoon. It is currently 11.45, and I have been just in a work hole this morning, and I'm coming out of it because it's lunchtime, and I forgot to feed Leo this morning, so he's eating now, as you can probably hear. So, I'm heating up some pizza from last night, and I wanted to say, life hack. Last night, or not last night, Daniel! Last year, I did not have a microwave, just because my house was so small and we just did not have the space for it. Daniel! 
So instead of using a microwave to warm things up, we would use the stove top or we would use the oven. And this is such a simple and silly thing to give as a tip, but I think in the world of microwaves, I think that like I forgot how much better food is when it's heated up in an oven or on the stove. Oh, the advent calendar. Daniel forgot about the advent calendar again. Well, hi, <laughs> Danny. <clears throat> well, Danny, come on. <laughs> okay, try it again, try it again. Well, well hi. hi. Really? That should have been my vlogmas intro. <laughs> well, howdy, welcome to our house. Um, we are taking a Starbucks break because we use T-Mobile as our cell phone provider and they give out these deals called T-Mobile Tuesdays mm -hmm. and we have a $3 credit at Starbucks. I get a pumpkin spice chai because I don't drink coffee and for so long I liked the pumpkin spice so I would get the latte and it was the worst. Doesn't every girl like pumpkin spice? Daniel? Is that not the right time? Well hi! <laughs> it is the end of the work day which means I'm about to come alive. <laughs> No, actually, I had a really fun work day today. I got to do some website editing and um, just like start working on our podcast with the place that I work at. We're starting a podcast and I'm obviously the producer. I am the marketing coordinator where I work. I am now a podcast producer. So I'm really excited about that to be like extending my knowledge. Any chance that I get to learn something new I just like love and want to take full advantage of so I had so much fun today learning a new software and all that stuff. Now it is the end of the day and I have a few things that I want to do today. Number one, I want to make an orange garland. I have oranges. I made Daniel go get me some at the grocery store yesterday. And so I made an orange garland last year but I burnt a lot of them and I didn't have parchment paper. So they just kind of didn't turn out as I wanted them to. But this year I'm gonna try again and I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I don't feel like I have really that much space for them, but I'm still gonna do it anyway. <laughs> So here are all of my orange pieces ready to go in the oven. I need to set this to 200 degrees. And according to this, I'm going to bake until they're dry for about two to three hours. Oh wait, no, up to four and a half hours. So good thing that I started this now. That would have really not been fun. Stuff like this really reminds me how much I love oranges. They're so delicious. We're at the park with Leo, oh gee, <laughs> and just enjoying our time. Take that, what oh. did you do? Apparently I shook it. So if you're ever wondering, this is what grass in Tucson looks like. It's very wonderful. It looks like this in the summer too. <laughs> Danny, what do you think of this grass? It's, uh, it's like half dead and half alive. That's inaccurate, yes. And yeah. it has now become fall. As you can see, the trees are changing color finally. All right, Leo, did you get a bath? Oh. <laughs> he looks really funny after he's had a bath. I forgot to take a video of him when he was like soaking wet. But he'd probably be embarrassed by that, so. His hair gets really curly. Oh, where are you going? His hair gets really, really curly after a bath. Like he looks like a poodle when his hair is wet. And then as it gets dry, it straightens out. So I'm currently making dinner. A hearty meal of spaghetti and spaghetti. So Daniel sing. He sings in the shower. So these noodles are actually oh my gosh. Yikes. They're called super greens made with spinach, zucchini, broccoli, parsley, and kale. I've never had these before, but I did try some as an attempt to see if they were ready or not. 
They're not bad, honestly. With the sauce, you won't even notice. Like, I'm definitely tasting a lot of the spinach and kale. But if this is better for you than, like, grain spaghetti, I would be willing to have spaghetti more often because spaghetti is Daniel's favorite meal. He could eat spaghetti every single day. I could as well, which is a very good thing because it's very easy to make. I wanted to end off the vlog and say good night. I'm trying to say good night at the end of these videos so it's not just ending on a weird note. We took Leo to the dog park, or not to the dog park, just a general park, and he got to play with some dogs. There were two Dobermans. And Leo, I think he was scared of them. He acted kind of mean for the first time ever that I've seen. And he wasn't even really mean. He was just like chasing them and barking at them. Do you forgive us for giving you a bath? All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a comment down below. Oh, give it a like, whatever you wanna do. I really appreciate you guys watching these videos. I know that they're not getting as many views as my normal videos, but that really doesn't bother me because I'm having a lot of fun making them. And I feel like who the, I feel like the people that do watch it are getting like a glimpse into my life and just like learning more about me and that's what counts. So anyway, thank you for watching. Genuinely, if you have watched any of my Vlogmas videos, thank you. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video, which is a plant video. It will be me repotting some anthuriums and I'm excited. <laughs> okay, bye.